Hello, everybody. Welcome to the Real Estate Shed Show, episode number two. I am Craig O'Boyle. The show is taking place in my bike shed, my tool shop, where I work on my passion, that is mountain biking, keeping my bike running smoothly. Uh, today's topic for the Real Estate Shed Show is uh, really kind of like about buying a home, or should I buy a home, essentially. Uh, I'm going to start this with talking about my own history in real estate and my first property purchase and what that has done for me in my life. So to give you some background, once again, Craig O'Boyle, I own the O'Boyle Real Estate Group in Colorado Springs, Colorado. I purchased or I got into real estate at 19 years old, uh, long story that someday I'll tell behind that, but I got into real estate 19 years old and I purchased my first home while I was also working real estate and going to college at the University of Colorado, Colorado Springs, UCCS, uh, I was probably 20 years old when I bought my first home, under the encouragement and guidance of uh, family. Um, essentially, I bought this home, or I went into buying this home. I wanted to be able to obviously uh, start building some equity. I'd gotten to know uh, the process of buying real estate through getting my license, um, but I wanted to make sure I could do it financially or could afford it and so I went out and got some roommates. I actually got some friends I went to high school with who were still in the area and uh, we were close and said hey I'm gonna buy a home would you guys be interested in renting rooms? They said yes so we went through the process and bought a house. Uh, the funny part of the story is I went to closing and <laughs> Uh, at the end of the day, I think we moved in over the, la the next three, four hours. We didn't have a lot of stuff at that time, didn't take much. And uh, I think we had our first college party in that house at, at about 8 p.m. the night I bought the home. We had maybe a card table for a kitchen table. We had, we had a couple of couches. We'd have, we'd have a place to sleep. We had some beds and stuff like that, but we didn't have much in there. And uh, I remember when we kind of finally all settled down, people knew we were doing this, uh, the doorbell rang, I opened the front door and uh, literally the entire front yard was full of people. So uh, maybe not the best way <laughs> to start, uh, start your home ownership experience, but we had a lot of fun in that property. Uh, needless to say, I will also say that my first roommates did not last very long. Uh, there is, even though I threw a party and started off that way, I did have an eye towards, hey, this is mine, I own this thing and I want to maintain it. And so um, my rules about keeping the property clean and maintaining it and stuff like that because I was the owner, well, that didn't fly so well with my buddies. But uh, I did learn that sometimes you have to move on from tenants and I went through several tenants over the next three years there. I, I did get one great friend out of it who's still a friend of mine who lived with me for about two years there. And uh, yeah, we went through other tenants. But ultimately, the biggest benefit to this, uh, I graduated, I was graduating school, I was getting out, uh, I was looking to get into a property where I did not have roommates any longer. So, put the house up for sale. I think I'd bought in the house for $107,000. Three years later, I was selling it for uh, about $140,000. So, after all, everything was said and done, I, th I think I pretty, pretty much put about $30,000, $32,000 in my pocket. Not to mention during that time, um, my expenses for living in the house were probably somewhere in the $100, $150 range uh, because the rent I was deriving from all the tenants while I was there um, allowed me to live in the property very cheap. Um, so, uh, big fan of real estate because of my initial experience. But that money that I next took to the next property ended up going into a new built townhome, condo townhome. Um, the funny part of, uh, about it was, is while it was being built and while it was being done, uh, I met my wife, who oddly enough had done exactly the same thing that I did. She had bought her first home, rented rooms out, um, came from a real estate family background, so they gave her advice in that arena as well. We ended up truthfully selling her house, my house, and we bought this condo together. So. Both of us came into our second home with a large down payment. It was a great starting point for, for youngsters. I mean, I think at that time, you know, we were 23 years old and had a significant chunk of equity. The next level, once we outgrew that property, uh, we bought 
a real house, uh, a house actually, that uh, we felt we could raise a family in and, and start a family in that type of thing. So uh, we kept the condo and the condo became a rental property. Initially it was a rental property, standard rental, month to month, or not month to month, year lease, but paying monthly. I had a client who opened my eyes to um, a service called VRBO, or Vacation Rentals by Owner. And essentially it was um, almost like you turn a, a property owned into a hotel. And they, people can come and they can rent by the night, by the week, by the month, whatever, but it's furnished. And um, you get significantly more dollars on a monthly basis renting through that than you do uh, through the, the the normal rental channel so we did that for probably four years and went from making a thousand dollars a month uh, or twelve thousand dollars a year on the rental to probably thirty thirty five thousand dollars a year we ultimately sold that mostly because we were getting to the point where the property needed some maintenance uh, needed some upgrades and just the time commitment uh, to running the VRBO is not something we needed in our life anymore. My real estate business has been growing, been getting pretty strong. So, uh, but it's a great investment vehicle. My point behind telling you this is really I can talk about my initial home purchase as that stepping stone for setting me up financially. So, um, I'm encouraging a lot of people to do that. Now, let's talk about the renting side of the equation. Why do people rent? Well, I think the first, the first reason people look at renting is financially based. They don't think they can um, financially handle the down payment requirement. Now, they may not have a credit issue or they may have a credit issue or other things like that. I'm not going to stay there, but let's say you're, you're qualified to either buy or rent and you're debating between the two. Well, if you think down payment is a huge obstacle, it may be because you don't know about all the programs that are out there. Um, there's several entry-level buyer programs, one FHA, 3.5% down. There are conventional programs, I believe, that get pretty close, uh, 5%. I, I will say I'm not the expert in the lending world. I'll leave that to the experts that I deal with, but I do know that there's 5%. There may be lower. Uh, VA home loans, uh, if you happen to be a veteran, zero down home loans, great program. Even with some of the uh, other programs, sometimes you can get down payment assistance. I know with FHA they have things like uh, CHAFA, which I believe assists with the down payment and to the where the point that the borrower only has about $1,000 in to qualify to buy the home. So uh, that's a great program. The other reason is maintenance. Now obviously you want to have, you want to have uh, the financial ability to deal with what's out and what goes wrong with the property, but there are things out there that a new buyer can get in the sale, a warranty program that can cover some of those unexpected fixes that will come up in a property. So there's lots of options there. My encouragement to you, if my story is helpful um, and you think it would work in your life as a make real estate your stepping stone, go for it. Go for it. I mean, a lot of people talk about, you know, if, what if you got to be mobile? Well, hey, you can always rent real estate. You can always rent real estate. I mean, obviously, the price is key. Um, on the lower end, though, in our market, there's just not enough. And so it's hard not to encourage people to buy a home. So I know it's my business, obviously, but I think it's very well worth it. In the final analysis, if you've got some questions, please leave them below in the comments. Feel free to reach out to me once again, Craig O'Boyle, the O'Boyle Real Estate Group in Colorado Springs, Colorado, uh, and get out there and buy that home. Have a great day.